Almost all iPhone users use the Safari browser to browse the Internet, use their favorite online services and so on. But few people know about Safari's hidden settings that allow websites you visit to collect information about you for various purposes, for example, to show you more ads. Some websites also steal your data or track your activity on them. So in today's video, I'll show you which settings you absolutely need to change to increase your privacy and prevent websites sites you visit from tracking you. I will also show you how to keep Safari from slowing down your iPhone. Welcome to my channel and let's dive in. To find these hidden settings, open settings on your iPhone, main settings, after that scroll all the way down to apps, open apps, then scroll down to Safari and open this web browser. First of all, uh, find here section privacy and security. Scroll down to section privacy and security and here you can see feature not secure connection warning. And I recommend turn on this feature, because this feature works, so if you visit a website that is not secure, not secure means the scammer can intercept your data that you enter on such a website. In this case, your browser will immediately show you a warning about this, and you will know right away that you should not enter your data on such a website. Now I'll show you how it works. For example, I visit such a website on purpose. So I'm going to open Safari. After that, find uh, such a website and open it. And now I see notification that this connection is not secure. And I know that I should not enter my data on such a website. Further, in the section Privacy and Security, you can see feature Prevent Cross-Site Tracking. Make sure this feature is enabled, as it prevents websites you visit from tracking your activity by collecting information about your previous visits. For example, the next website you visit will know that you just watched this video. Websites wanted to track your activity to show you more personalized ads, but if this feature is enabled, they will not be able to do this. Next step, below we can see feature hide IP addresses, open it and make sure this feature is also enabled, because your IP addresses can be used to determine personal information like your location and other information, and to protect your information, Safari can hide your IP addresses, but for this, this feature must be enabled. Further, tap back and uh, pay attention on fraudulent website warning, because this feature also must be enabled, as it will warn you about fraudulent websites that can steal your personal information, passwords and banking data. Further, scroll all the way to the top, to section search, and here we can see two features, search in giant suggestions and safari suggestions. These are useful features, and now I'll show you how they work. If we open safari, after that, type word weather, for example. Safari suggestions will show us the result before we press enter, and the search engine suggestions will uh, suggest what we might want to type after the word weather. So, as you see, uh, these are convenient functions, but the first one sends data about what we type in the browser to Apple, and the second one sends data to Google, if you have selected here Google. So, if privacy is more important to you than convenient, you should disable this feature. Safari suggestions and search engine suggestions. Next, at the bottom of the section search, you can see feature preload top hit. This feature works by making Safari try to guess which website you will open next and load it ahead of time. However, it does not always guess correctly and many websites load uselessly. It uses uh, up uh, our internet traffic, so I recommend disabling this feature. Then below you can see section general, and first of all, make sure that feature block pop-ups is enabled, because this is very useful feature for block ads. Further, open extensions. If you see any extensions you no longer use or did not even install, remove them, because some extensions can track you and collect data about you from your browser. Next step back, and below we can see downloads, open it and select here on my iPhone. 
Now the files we download in Safari are downloaded to our iPhone, which will increase privacy and the space in iCloud will not fill up and we will not have to pay for it. Next step, tap back in the upper left hand corner of the screen, then scroll down to section history and website data. And here we can see feature clear history and website data. Open it and now select all history and tap clear history. Because all the websites we visit and temporary files are saved in our Safari history, it is good to clear this history at least once a month. This helps Safari run faster, uses uh, less storage on our iPhone and stops other people from seeing what we do online. Further, in the section below, settings for websites, you can see camera, microphone and location. All websites we visit may have access to our camera, microphone or location. Because if you open camera, for example, and you have selected here hello, this means all websites you visit will have access to your camera. I don't think anyone wants that, so it's better select here ask. And then tap back. And do the same for microphone and location. And now if some website wants to use your camera, microphone or location, you will see notification and can decide whether to grant them this permission or not. That's all I wanted to share with you. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss new helpful videos. Thanks for watching.